Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Wards and Wardens. Today we have some war. <laughs> what a surprise there. And in the last episode we did decide to go ahead and join our allies war here. And I think it's going to be an easy one. Yeah, they only have 500 men. And they have no allies. So I think raising the men at arms will be more than enough to go ahead and deal with these fellas. Uh, I also want to go ahead and raise the Holy Order. But is there a way for me to raise them over here? If I go to, let's see, let's go Holy Orders. And I go here. I don't think I can choose where they get risen. No, they okay. They always get risen in the capital by the looks of things. So let's go ahead and take them. Uh, and we'll bring them over this way as well. We should have some siege equipment here. Let's see. You're a cautious leader and a rough terrain expert. Hills and mountains. We don't have a lot of hills and mountains. Yeah, this is all step terrain. So I wonder... What are you? Rough terrain expert as well. I mean, we'll go with the cautious leader. Why not? And then he can go in, take this back, and then we'll deal with the, the enemy here as well. My spy master has come to me with grave news, but we do not yet know who. Someone is plotting against me. Do we know what kind of plot it is? Claim the throne! Oh dear. Um, let's take you off to find secrets, and let's put you on disrupt schemes for us a moment. Yeah, that should make that go down, or at least increase our chance to discover it, I believe. Uh, we'll take this back. It's only going to take six months. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my vassal, Countess Elizabeth, has grown bolder. Her challenges no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. She is testing my limits, the others are sure to follow, unless I give her a taste of her own medicine. Are you trying to claim my throne by any chance? Hmm, a little bit suspicious, isn't it? How dare you challenge your king? We're going to gain a little bit of dread. Hopefully that stops whatever's happening. The black culture has embraced... The warrior priest tradition. Okay, we finally got this unlocked. So traits such as astute intellectual, monk and theologian give prowess. And members of the clergy can now serve as commanders or champions. And we get prowess per level of devotion plus one. I'm liking that one a lot. And a good person to check this on is our heir. And Tony is a mastermind philosopher. And for that, he gets plus four prowess. Wow. Okay, that's very nice. So he's got 16 prowess now. Not too shabby. Uh, is your wife pregnant yet? She's not. I would like for you guys to have a, a child. Inez, let's unpin you. Uh, Antoni, I'll keep you pinned. Zenti, I can unpin you. Aleph, we'll unpin you. And now our pins are a little bit tidy as well. Right, how long left on this? Four months to siege this down. We'll get that done nice and fast. We've got another diplomacy perk as well. We already have these. Heart of the family, close family opinion. Plus 15? Why not? Let's go ahead and get this. How old am I? I'm 65. Oh, our health is poor and ailing. That's not good, is it? You, my cousin, would like an alliance. Um, I will accept that. We we have to stick together, you see. Uh, we have many enemies. Now, some of you are saying, do a dissolution faction. Not yet. We have so many hostile religions around us. Uh, I don't think we would survive. We need to build up to that. So the war target is over here. So why don't we take our armies here? Uh, what I'm going to do is actually combine these armies. Uh, and we'll take them over here for the war target. Okay, we need to... We're going to have to siege this first. Otherwise, we're going to be taking attrition. That's fine, though. We we can have... We have plenty of time to siege this. Greetings, my serene liege. I've arrived in Targa Vista to pay homage to you. Count Bellet of Ratsurst. Let's show him in at once. No gold, but we get renown and prestige, which is also nice. We got a thousand prestige, in fact. Uh, organize the army. Yeah, we were losing a little bit of gold. More than I wanted. I can demand a hostage. Let's not do that right now. Let's go ahead and take this back. It should be fine. My daughter Zara, along with Zendaya, has been invited to a gathering of peers by Count Vasily. They are packed and ready and clearly excited to leave for Solistra. Yep, yeah, sure. Very well. Go and organize. Go and have some friends and whatnot. My daughter Zara has now come of age as well. She's a genius, hail, and already a flagellant. Oh dear. Right, let's go ahead and unpin her. Um, accidentally misclicked there. Do I want an alliance with this? Possibly. You're 29 and you're my vassal. Hmm, it would keep you in check though, wouldn't it? I might do this. You are the ruler. What are you the ruler of? The Duchy of Dirakian. That's over near Bulgaria. I will, I will send this proposal. At least he can't join any rebellions against me then. We'll have alliances. These guys are coming to attack me. 
Okay, we'll see how that battle goes. Greetings, Master Aurelian Leech. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Excellent stuff. We have the Battle of Saracen. Let's go ahead and slow things down so we can observe the carnage. They have slightly more champions now, I think. My wife is pregnant. Very nice. Jesus, it's all happening, isn't it? Right, how do we do? 129 losses, but we killed 1,500. Oh, and we wounded one of their champions. Very nice. Right, two months this. I'm going to go back down to four times speed. Because five times... Nah, we could do five times. Let's speed it up. And then we'll go back down to four. With my hostage, Beerborfios, inheritance of Optimatoy. I've now found myself caring for a duke. Uh, he will soon depart. Okay, nothing I can do there. We'll, we'll say adios to him. Our allies are arriving from the north. We've got four days left on the siege, uh, which is rather loud. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, my grandson, Count Antoni, has brought forward evidence that Laurentiu is not the son of my vassal, Count Purvu, but that he was fathered by none other than him. How could my own grandson do this to us? Oh, no. What have you done? He was a genius as well. Ah, terrible news. Terrible news. So, Antoni, was that your... No, it's not your child. Okay. Um, okay, I'm lost for words. I am indeed. A secret truth. Okay, yeah, we just we just found out this. So, I can prison you and I imprison Antoni, my player Aaron grandson. Oh, it's, it is his child. He slept with another woman. Ah, these accusations are not... But malice and lies. Count on Tony. I gain stress. Because I'm zealous. But he's my son and heir. I have to... Damn it. Why is he causing these issues? Okay, now we can go and siege their capital. Which should help with the war. Yeah, we haven't actually won uh, any war school yet. Which is uh, not, not very good, is it? Well, I can pardon my grandson. We're going to pardon him as much as it pains me to do so. Because he is going to be heir to... Uh, the lands one day. You should grant the barony of Campolung to someone. Why have we inherited this? Isn't my holy order situated here? I thought so. Holy order. The Grand Master of the Holy Order. You have one title. Can I can I see what this is? It's here. Um, oh, I don't know what to do with this. If I grant it to someone, do I lose my holy order? Didn't we have something like this in the past? Okay, um, my plan is to grant it to this lad here because he's the leader of the holy order. I can't actually grant him titles. Oh, what is this? Well, I'm above my domain limit now. Let's see, if I just grant it to a noble of the black culture, like so, have I now lost my holy order? No? Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, we will ignore that. Let's go back to five times speed. It's actually very slow over here. Holy order has expanded. Holy order, least of a barony. Okay. So they're bigger now. We managed to sway our rabbi. My counselor has died from a sudden virulent disease camping with his army. Oh, crap. Right, so that means we're going to need a new marshal. So let's get one of those into the council. My dynasty member here. Let's go ahead and assign him. Hopefully you do a good job. Now who? Oh, we need a wet nurse. Okay, let's start the search. We can find one of those. What I also need to do now is start swaying someone else. Uh, should I start swaying you? Yeah, let's start swaying you. You're my spy master. We'll try and get you to maximum opinion. How long left on the siege? Three months. <laughs> uh, with a mind to provide the best of care to our children, I've had my functionaries seek out able women for the role of wet nurse. Now they present a few locals for my judgment. 100 gold. Oh, I can't afford 100 gold. I can afford 50 gold, though. So I'll, I'll pick the wet nurse that's good enough. And what's this? Whether tired yet bliss or smile, Osgul presents me with a perfect son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Oh, no, you're delicate. And you guys have decided to call him Moish. I'm going to go with. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Thank you, Neil, for the name suggestion. Uh, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son. I just realized I added some spaces. There we go. Let's do that. And um, we shall go ahead and pin him and educate him when he has, has come of age. How long left on this siege? 20 days. Will we win the war this siege? I don't know. 
Um, why do we always get two pop-ups at the same time? What's this? Though I doubted it at first, I am becoming convinced through the gossip of court that Duke Fear Pains wants my head all because of a cuckolding? All of Interlasty is game to him by their association to me, and this hatred has spread from the head down throughout his entire blathering family. Ah, uh, so this become he becomes... Ah, uh, we get the house feud. No, I have bigger worries. We're going to ignore him. I, I can't be bothering myself with his petty grudges and whatnot. Hurry, my liege, you have to hear this. The wet nurse Sophia rushes me into my son's chambers. Sophia points at moisture and excitement, so I lean towards him and listen. He's already spoken? <laughs> when were you born, son? 25th of May, 2007. Uh, May, June. It's been literally two weeks and he can already speak. Bloody hell. Took me three years. And that's not a lie either. Um, <laughs> I don't have time for this. I'm callous. <laughs> We're fighting a war. <laughs> uh, we just won a war. My sister died of a heart failure. No. Ah, oh, but at least we won the war. Let's disband the men. Holy order's been dismissed. So it's said that they've expanded. So I think they're the same size though. I don't know, something weird happened. I'm not quite sure why I got control of the city, but we did. So we need to declare war. My goal, so a lot of you keep asking, my goal is to take as much land of the Byzantine Empire as possible, and then we're going to do a dissolution faction. I want to be bigger though, because if we look at the faith map, we are, we are surrounded by hostile faiths. I mean, if you want to get a scope of it, right now, uh, Karaism holds 22 counties. Whereas if we go to something like uh, Catholicism, there we go, we go to the Catholics, you know, they hold 641. The Orthodox have 190. Um, if we go down here, you know, these guys have 445. It's, we don't compare. So at the very least, I want, geographically, I want to take the Byzantine Empire. That's the plan. I know there's multiple ways of going about it, but that's the way I've decided on. So, <laughs> and I'm the one playing the game. Right. What are we going to go for next? Croatia? It's only a ducal conquest, though. Nah, I, I'm not really a fan of that. You see, I, I want to absorb more land. Can I declare... So I can't declare war on you. I can't declare war on you, can I? Why not? I can. Ducal conquest for... Ca it's very expensive. Very. But it's it's the way we've got to expand. So we're going to take this. And then as for Thrace... Oh, yeah, we're not going to war with you guys yet. So what we'll do, we'll just declare war on this tiny little bit of land uh, and then we're good to go. Let's go ahead and move this down here. We'll raise the men at arms and we shouldn't need anyone else. Uh, Reckless and rough terrain expert. Where's the other guy gone? Did he die? He might have died. Oh, dear. Anyway, right, this land's going to lead the armies. This should be a very quick war at least and we can expand Valachia ever so slightly. With my leave, my daughters and Dyer in a witness parade into my chamber. Sophia poses like a herald and proclaims, My liege, you witness a monumental occasion. Zendaya has a mighty gift to offer you. Go ahead, Zendaya, tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. Ah, oh, well done, my daughter. Here, I'm going to give you 20 gold. And then uh, <laughs> we're going to sell it. Um, it has been so long now since Epiphania first came to court and I became an uncle. Now seeing her as an adult, I feel a familiar bond with her as if we were one blood. Epiphania kneels before me in court and pledges her eternal loyalty to me as her favorite uncle. Very nice. So we get a loyalty hook on you. I just got a new tooth that I can destroy. So let's do this. Also, I realized I'm not a... Uh, no, I do have an antiquarian. Okay. Yes, we have an antiquarian. That's fine. Um, I know there's more court positions, but frankly, we just don't have the gold to be affording them right now. It has been so long since Epiphania first came to court and I became an uncle. Now a woman, she can hardly stand to look at me. <laughs> we become rivals. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm going to send her home. Yeah, go home. <laughs> what is this? My hostage, Damien, grins at my quip. Waving a fond goodbye as she returns to her study. Suddenly, my daughter, Zelia, storms up to me. Admit it. You've been growing more and more infatuated with that foreigner. You're more attached to it than me, your own flesh and blood. I'm callous, I can do this. I would never feel like that, my daughter. My daughter, you're my daughter, you're my blood. I mean, sure, you know, they might consider themselves Vintelasti, but they don't have Vintelasti blood. I will always put you above these fake pretenders. Do not worry. Uh, you have now made me steward. Very nice. What do I get for that? I mean, I actually have... That's not me. 
I have one stewardship. <laughs> I mean, at least we get three gold per month. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. We could look for a hook, but right now we have hostile schemes against us. So I'm trying to prevent that, although we're, we're not doing a good job. I mean, it's not my fault. It's, it's uh, my spy master's fault. As I enter the room, I notice my courtier, Queen Osgul, acting distant and aloof. I walk over to her and pull a hand on her shoulder. What's the matter, I ask? She looks at me for a moment and sighs heavily. It's this place. It's just so understimulating. Wife, go socialize a little. I've got wars to deal with. Oh, alliance has expired. Was burned to death. Okay. I mean, does my daughter want a new marriage? Probably not. And Tony, are you not on my council? Yeah, you could be my diplomat. Yeah, and Tony, you're going to become my diplomat. Let's go ahead and do that. Because you're a powerful vassal. And I want you to get some more skills. Oh, you're bloody becoming a doll child. I was literally praising you for not having any negative treats. Your wife's still not pregnant as well. You need to you need to tend to your duties, son. You've got important things to be doing here. Stop sleeping with other women and sleep with your bloody wife, will you? As I patiently await the fetching of my clothes, a servant stutters. <laughs> prince Moish, you shall be known as the Prince of Fashion. Okay, we got someone in our court now. Who's this? I find my hostage, Damien, sitting on the floor surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas. You're 15 years old. Ah, her genius will be nurtured. She'll be gone soon anyway. We don't have to worry ourselves with this. Okay, so we've got six months left on this seat. It's taken a while. We've swayed Peter. Who do we want to sway next? Probably my steward. Yeah, why don't we start swaying him? We could also sway the emperor. Who knows? My wife spends a significant amount of time traveling the realm with her honor guard. There are many matters she can settle on my behalf, and the military presence Queen Subslava brings with her is a firm reminder of my right to rule. My queen and I stand ready in defense of the realm. We gain some prestige. Very nice. I wonder if we can add another thing to our culture. We'll have to take a look in the moment. I mean, we only have 3,000, though. Lately, I've been pondering the education of my daughters and Dea. No, a variant skill set is needed. Skill set? Skill set? Skill set. So if I diverge culture again, no, 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 not diverge, no, not diverge. If I reform culture, oh, I can't add another one. We can only have six. Ah, damn it. But I mean, we could change this. Only a weird 20 gate. We could change martial to uh, equal. Uh, you do not have the female only, female preference or equal law. And we're not getting that anytime soon because if we go to succession... I can't change to equal because why can't I? It doesn't actually say. They all approve available gender laws. I I'm pretty sure it's because of religion. And we can't reform. I mean, we could create a new Jewish faith. Very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> Maybe our next character. Uh, I thought we needed holy sites for this, though. My hostage, Damien, has recently been speaking to me exclusively in Daki and Volga, and she does so with remarkable proficiency. Damien tells me that her educators in the clergy, such as Nasi Vlad, are to thank for her mastery of the courtly tongue. Ah, that's nice. Uh, I'm not going to give him a reward. It's his job to teach you. Oh, my cousin is now plotting against me. Okay, he's abandoned the scheme to claim my throne. Nice. What we can do now is start finding secrets in Constantinople again and try and get a hook on the Emperor so I can pick my court position. That would be nice uh, to get council right. So that's another reason we don't want to do a dissolution faction now is the Emperor loves us and quite frankly, he protects us from all of these hostile religions. All right, let's go ahead and attack them. This war should be over very fast. The battle. As sacred rites distract all minders, my grandson Vakislav and the hostage Damien unleash their growing hatred. My grandfather is the mightiest king in all the land. One day, thanks to him, a foul baccalarian will be ablaze. And your head will hang from a champion's saddle. <laughs> Competition sharpens his wits. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we've won the war. Your crimes against me. Meet me in single combat. 20 prowess versus my 9. What happens if I decline? Spend prestige? Yeah, sure. Uh, I got loads of it. Okay, let's go ahead and end the war. This is very nice and smooth going. Greetings, King Joshua of Alakia. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to pull an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Okay, so let's disband this son or grandson. Ah, oh, you already have too many titles, right. 
So I'm thinking then, if we go Dynasty, let's go Vinton last year, we'll go some of all skills. My cousin, you're already landed. I need someone who's not landed. What about Arthur? He likes me. And he's 20, he's of age. Let's go ahead and give him some land to look after. How did we do in the battle? 23 for a thousand, wow. Maybe we should have just rushed straight for the capital. Uh, I can ransom you. We can change your contract. Let's go ahead and get high taxes there. We love our management money. Oh, I've lost a court physician. Okay, my wife. There we go. She can take over for that. And I think we're in an okay space now. Yeah, okay space, okay place. Valakia is growing. Right. On to the next war target. We can't take on Frace. They, they are very, very strong. However, maybe we can go down here. Um... Uh, I uh, can't declare war because I don't have a Cassus Belly. Right, what about you? I can declare war on you. Uh, let's see. Seize the county. Let's see. Uh, sorry if you heard a steam sound effect then. I should probably turn those off. It's only 100 prestige. They have a few allies. Hmm. But I think we we could take it. All of this for a counter. I mean, we have to expand. Let's declare the war. <laughs> it's better to at least expand than, than not expand. And we need somewhere to raise our army. We've got 4,000 supply here. 4,000 here. 3,000. 4,000. I think this was also... Yeah, only 4... Uh, 4,000 here as well. I think we'll just raise them here. I don't think it matters too much. So let's go ahead and add another rally point. I will raise the entire army this time. It's going to be two armies. Okay, scrap this, scrap this. Right. I I've changed my idea, guys. Let's raise the men at arms. And then what I'm also going to do is raise all. And then they'll all come here. We can have two armies. We can have a sieging army. And then we can also have a, a fighting army. Let's go four times speed. So I need to split off the, the siege equipment. Yes, yes. Uh, and then we can combine those with our levies. Uh, where's my military engineer? Oh, you guys told me I should get a better military engineer. In fact, we just need a military engineer. Oh, no. Okay, where's the single ladies in my court? No sage presets? Ah, oh, you know what it is? Because I reinstalled windows. I lost my presets. Okay, let's go. So we want, we want uh, an adult. Yes, yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, we want them to be female and marital status unmarried. Okay, now I can save this as uh, unmarried female. There we go. Save to save filters to preset, and then I can just pick this. Boom, we're done. Right, my wet nurse can marry. Why don't we try and find her a nice strapping husband who is a, a military engineer? If we do this, I think we can also filter by prowess. Matrilineal, of course. You're scaly. Did I do it? Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, you're scaly. Yeah. What about Sava? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do him, and then uh, I'll convert his faith as well once he joins. First sort of target of Easter needs a worthy successor. Merkia can fill that position. All I need to do... Ah, oh, we were already here. <laughs> <laughs> All I need to do is force him to become a champion. There we go. Let's do that. And now the first sword of Targ of Easter does indeed have a successor. If I can bloody click on the thing. Okay. And then this army is going to have our best fighter, which currently is Count Bellet. Right. I believe we are organized, lads. Let's go ahead and just move this army into position. We're going to need them eventually. Greetings, my serene liege. I accept your marriage proposal. Excellent stuff. Oh, crap. Ah, uh, oh, we're going to have to find him. There's an easy way to find him. But first, my daughter has had twins. We're going to call them Emmerich and Roman. May you grow to be strong and wise, my twins. Not my twins, but you, you guys know what I mean. And then if we take our military engineer. There we go. And then you, lad. I need to demand your conversion. You see, you got to join the one true faith if you wish to fight for the faith. Okay, so this army goes here. This army is going to go in here. Uh, and the war is going to go smoothly. Don't you worry, guys. Everything is fully in my control. My hostage, Damien, is now a woman. Yep, yeah, get your things. Go home. Uh, you've made a mess of my court with all your, your artist inspirations and whatnot. And now we have no interest in that. So are we being sieged? We're being sieged over here. 
Well, I've completely missed that. They must have already been ready for us. Can I... Let's get this army over here just in case. How long to take this? Eight months? Are they coming to fight us? I think they are, you know? No, they're going in this way. Okay, okay. I mean, we're going to go here. Oh, they got allies. I forgot about this. Can we try and pick them off whilst they're here alone? We might be able to. Let's try it. Yeah, they're running away. Look at that, the cowards. In fact, they're embarking. <laughs> War declared on leech. Oh, dear. Um, I'm not going to join this. What is it? War against the tyranny. Yeah, you guys are silly. Uh, maybe if I joined them, they would have enough. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to be independent of what we're at like right now. Okay, diplomacy perk. Bound by blood. Personal scheme success chance plus 25% against family members. We might even get to max out the diplomacy tree. That would be kind of awesome. We've got three months left on this one. We're not going to go to your hunt. I'm in a bloody war. Timing as always. While well, performing his duties as my spy master, Count Peter has uncovered a secret. <gasps> this is useful to know, Peter. You have a lover. Unfortunately, it's not really... It's not the secrets we're looking for. We're not going to do anything with those ones. Uh, I'm going to wait until I can maybe somehow get a secret on the Emperor. Okay, this is a little bit worrying. Hmm, how many men at arms do you have? A lot, a lot. Okay, that is a lot of men at arms, guys. Um, and I didn't raise my holy order again. Is it too late? How long before we siege this? Ten days. Okay, we're, we're going to get this. That's fine. There we go. We managed to capture their capital. Do we have the war target? No, because there's another castle in here. I think that's the war target. Is it? Um, that, That's the wrong war. There we go. <laughs> that's the war target. So we could go for their capital. Why don't we first hire the holy order? I mean... So only, they're not very strong, are they? Let's bring them down here. I'm going to send this army up here to siege. Uh, and we should be okay, hopefully. Yeah, the thing is, though, is they, they want to come in here and do some fighting, don't they? I need to position my men in a place where we can defend against their advances. Let's see, they're going to go around a long way. Let's go back here. This is all popping off nicely. We should have reinforcements very soon as well. Okay, they've decided to siege. Right. Ten months for us to take this. They're taking much faster. That's only going to take three months. Maybe I can go down to their capital though soon. We'll have to see. I also need to try and fight them if I can. But they have so many men-at-arms. I mean, I have a lot of men-at-arms as well though. Let's not forget that. I have a crap ton of men-at-arms. Let's just wait for this army here. We're, we'll merge these armies and then they'll feel just a tiny bit more confident sorry if you hear the rain as well it's appearing to be quite heavy today right let's try and defend this i believe we can fight them and we're look at that oh yes <laughs> uh, not so sure about when these guys join in but we'll, we'll have a look let's go five times speed and now we'll go down to three times speed and we're gonna watch this mighty battle uh you found another secret Unfortunately, it's not for the for the Emperor, though, so we'll ignore that. The Battle of Agrio Castron is now underway. We have 38 advantage. Successor First Order Valachia. We're going to have to look at that afterwards. 50 advantage. Wow. <laughs> they have more than double our champions, and that rain is very heavy. I'll be surprised if you can't hear that. Okay, allied combatants slain. Accol oh, my, it was my acclaimed knight that lost. Oh, we lost so many. Oh, wow. First Sword of Valachia now needs a successor. We don't have one, so let's try and seek one of those out. Uh, and Vlad Vintalasti now needs an educator. Uh, you have gone for intrigue. You're so crap at it. But, I mean, you guys probably asked for that, so we'll carry on. If you guys give me an education, then I like to stick to it, even if it turns out not to be the best decision. It's fine. No, 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 no. You guys stay here. Why have the, the army swapped around? No idea. Let's bring them back here, though, so they can defend uh, against this. One day left on this. There we go. So we control all of this now. Now, I think we should come down to the capital. Yeah, let's go ahead and move our men in here. In fact, let's go to the temple, even. We, we should be fine here. Well organized levy service. Holding taxes uh, increases a little bit. My son Zenti, an avid hunter, has brought me a man who sells fine hunting dogs. 
I saw only the best hounds already trained and ready to join any hunting team with no trouble. You will find none better anywhere in the Byzantine Empire, my king. Before me is a line of leashed dogs of various sizes and builds, calmly sitting for my appraisal. I get a scent hound, diplomacy, learning, and prestige. We can get a beast hound, martial, and prowess. Yeah. Let's get a, a scent hound because we get some diplomacy and we're a diplomatic character. So we can boost it up this way. So now we need to give him... Let's call him Hold Fast. What a great name. There we go. Uh, a grand tournament. We're not going to go to that. I, I would usually. I mean, our prowess is crap now anyway. Uh, the problem is, is we're, we're currently at war. And I want to deal with this. Wait, can I not siege this? No, because that's not enemy terrain. Oh, I'm... I'm sh Wait, where is enemy terrain then? Over here? We have to go east? I guess? Okay, we're, we're gonna try and make our way over here. We're gonna take 131 casualties. But that's why Peter died! Oh no! Oh no, did he have a son? I'm not sure. Peter the third, maybe? Right, my wife. Nah, purview. You're gonna become a spy master. And then if we look up here, we have a new successor for the first sword of Valakia. So let's go ahead and assign him. That's all looking fine. Uh, wait, men, 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 men. Go ahead and deal with this. You're over here, so we can destroy them very quickly. We still haven't won the war, though. Wife, as you drew your last breath, relief washed over me. Perhaps I should be ashamed. But in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. She died of cancer, and I'm happy. What? <laughs> That's a bit brutal. Okay, let's get another concubine. Oh, you have a claim. Oh, let's marry you. Maybe I can push your claim. That would be amazing, actually. Wow, concubines are so strong. Okay, so now we've defeated you guys. Um, let's send our army over there to support, and we should win. To be impressive, Joshua, I, Kanaguta, gladly accept your hand in marriage. May our union bring happiness and fulfillment to my serene husband. Excellent stuff. So you have a claim on the Lambacana kingdom and this. I wonder if I can push your claims. I don't see it here. Yeah, I don't see it here. So maybe I can't. Well, we'll have to see. Seven months left to, to do this as well. Uh, but sadly, guys, that's all I've got time for today. So I'm going to save it right here. Uh, because the rain's coming down quite hard now. And hopefully when it eases up, I'll record the next episode. But thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.